What's up guys, Invader1 here again, and this time I'm coming back to you guys with a build for the Batarian Soldier. Now, before I even go into it, I'm just going to go right ahead and tell you guys because I know that um, all of you guys will kill me or dislike the video or hate me or literally go through every video I own if I don't talk about this like right now <laughs> instead of uh, in the middle of the video or towards the end so I will talk about the Vatarian uh, soldier build uh, by the way the the builds are now at the end so you can skip to towards the end of the video so you can go right ahead and get the build quickly if that's what you want to do but I don't recommend that you do that just yet I recommend that you listen to me because I do have something to tell you guys so the if you guys have been following along in regards to the DLC I've been talking about it uh, my buddy wants your shot kind of uh, uh, prophesied about it and then there's a lot of people who have been posting on the Bioware social network about the new DLC for multiplayer and single player um, Bioware has been working hard on it, it seems, and um, there is a new DLC that is going to come out, and it seems like it is actually going to come out a little earlier than I even expected. So, what I'm going to say now, guys, is to start building up your credit store. Start, bu start building credits, start saving money, well, not money, but, you know, start saving your credits. Uh, play your games, play your platinum games, play your gold games, save your credits, you know, if you need... If you need any anything to buy at the store, uh, just you know, buy jumbos and and buy some Spectre packs, you know, so you can get your higher level gear to play even harder games, and do and do that. For me, it's a little easier, guys. I just play a lot of platinum, so uh, I mean, to me, every game I get about 140 credits, 140,000 credits, etc. And um, so this weekend, I'm gonna be probably building up about 10 million credits or so so but anyways so I'm gonna say it right here right now guess what guys um, according to some of the BC guys and some of the other guys who have actually data mined some of the the latest patch that happened this this week pretty much um, you guys have seen some of those changes uh, you guys have seen that the acolyte it's back to chargeless which is a little a little frustrating for me because I know a lot of people like it chargeless I like it with the charge um, it, it doesn't even matter to me. I just I just want them to kind of leave the acolyte alone because it's kind of bothering me already. But on this latest patch, um, it was actually data mined, and what we well what they can determine in regards to the patch is that even though it seems a little clean uh, to data mine, there were a few things that they were able to figure out from it. Uh, number one, that there is um, the assault rifle, shotgun, and sniper rifle ultralight materials are coming in uh, to the game, which is actually a really great thing. So you could have like a caster with a sniper rifle or a shotgun and um, and and a heavy assault rifle, and still be able to do biotic powers and not affect your cool your cooldown as 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 badly as you, as it pretty much affects you now. Um, also, that uh, most of the recent single-player DLC weapons are going to be added to multiplayer. So, if you guys know, there's a lot of DLC uh, weapons on this single-player campaign, which are awesome. I have purchased actually the latest, uh, uh, pretty much all the uh, all the DLCs. So, the weapons uh, in the single-player campaign are absolutely amazing, like the Blood Pack Punisher. And you know, I I don't know if the um, if oh, the latest gun, which is a really cool one that I used on my I'm forgetting the name of it now but I used it on my Omega DLC gameplay you guys can check it out it's a really beast of a gun I I, I doubt I don't know I have a feeling that that one may not make it because it's really a beast gun it's an assault rifle that it's used by the Koreans and it shoots it shoots like an amazing amount of uh, uh, electricity it's kind of like um, uh, well, it, it's, it's a pretty beast of a gun, but anyways, there's a lot of uh, the single-player weapons that are going to make it to multiplayer. Also, there's a new co-op mode. Um, it's a multiplayer game mode that pulls uh, your Paragon and Renegade values kind of thing. Now, there's not a lot of information on that, but it, um, from what they have data mined, it seems like the reputation points and updates your plot progress from the single-player campaign into that co-op mode. Now. I don't know if maybe they got that wrong, or maybe the co-op mode is more for multiplayer, and it's like, it's not exactly like, um, 
the, the regular multiplayer that we know and it's just a different single player slash multiplayer co-op mode so that's a little confusing for me I don't know what's going on there but now there are they've also verified uh, through the you know data mining the files that the challenge is also for the blood pack punisher um, you know the venom shotgun the Addis rifle and the execution of pistol etc this has been found and a uh, rifle for biotic protector has also been found um, but anyways, there's, there's no real, there's, it's not clear whether it's for single player or multiplayer, so there's a lot of speculation. This is so far what we have seen, um, for what has been found out, or, you know, there's a lot of the rumor that's, that's going on either through the BSN, Bioware Social Network, uh, Bioware Social Network, or through the, um, through the data, data mining the files now. But besides all that, guys, um, Pretty much, I just want to say, start saving your credits, get your credits in there. Uh, it doesn't mean that don't, you know, don't purchase Spectre Packs, don't do what you normally do. I'm just saying that, you know, at least uh, if you're spending, let's say you have 100% of your credits and you get 140000 on, you know, on Platinum, then make sure you, I don't know, spend it on a, uh, on a Spectre Pack to get high-level equipment or... You know, or a jumbo just to keep on playing and, and you know save the rest that's all I'm saying I'm just, just saying to be smart about it so guys new single player and multiplayer DLC coming up very very soon um, don't know exactly when it is gonna happen yet so um, I again this is all speculation it might you know there might be a trailer coming in the next few days I have a feeling it's gonna happen next week I really do because uh, I think this is gonna be one of their biggest and then probably their final their last one um, you know that's why I haven't I haven't said it before because normally I don't want to predict that oh this is gonna be the last one or blah, 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 whatever but I think this is gonna be probably the last one for the last major DLC um, there might be new characters there might be a few different kids I don't know exactly what's gonna happen but it seems like this is gonna be actually even bigger than what I'm detailing here uh, there might be new characters there might be new kids so it definitely pay attention to that now Batarian Soldier <laughs> okay we finally get into the Batarian Soldier so, alright guys so you know I, I, I decided to um, I needed to do a Batarian Soldier video because the lot the only video that I have on the Batarian Soldier is my gold solo on Glacier versus the Reapers before Platinum came out and uh, that was a lot of fun uh, it's, it's a lot of fun I, I was able to do it but uh, that build was only for a solo build and I set it up in a specific way where I did not put any grenades on them uh, mostly because I was just running around just trying to survive and make sure that I was pretty much as tanky as possible etc but the build that I'm going to talk to you guys about right now is the build that I would definitely recommend it's an overall build it's the way you kinda of want to play them and this is kinda of like the way to go so let's go into uh, the power setup the way you want to use ballistic blades and inferno grenades we'll, we'll talk about that here as you can tell this guy is mostly a hit and run character the way you want to kind of use them is go ahead and use grenade capacity 5 so you can have at least 9 grenades and you're going to want to just spam 2 grenades into especially if you're playing gold by the way this is platinum gameplay obviously as you can tell but um on goal the uh, the enemies are uh, less tankier so what you're gonna want to do is go into a spawn drop two grenades shoot your ballistic blades shoot a little bit and go running to the, towards the next spawn point pretty much you are destroying and destroying by the time you by the time you leave that spawn point and go on to the next one they're already dying so you don't even need to stop to watch them die um, so that that's the way this guy works so let's go into it ballistic blades the way you're gonna wanna work it and this is this has been the way I've been specking ballistic blades forever rank 4 go for damage you get an additional damage bonus by 30% rank 5 go for range increases the range by 50% you want that you want your blades to be able to hit the enemies farther so I, I, you just you don't want to go for recharge speed. It's not even necessary. Just go for range, guys. Uh, rank six damage and bleed is nice, guys. Because but I will always go for explosive blades. You do 530 damage. It stops the bleed effect, but that 530 damage is really amazing, and it also stuns the enemy. So if you look at it, building it this way, your recharge speed is 2.771 seconds. Your damage is 1,642.5. Now. 
mind you, the closer you are to the enemy, the, the, the closer you are to that full damage bar. So if you're a little farther out, um, from what from what I can tell from the other from what the guys I play with can tell, um, it doesn't seem to give you the full damage. So you want to be at least you, know, you want to be able to hit the enemy uh, pretty closely, at least mid range, to get the 1,642, and that's that's a massive amount of damage, guys. Also, including the 530 damage that happens when the blades explode. So. Again, this is the way to go. Duration lasts 10 seconds. The radius is 18 meters, which is absolutely amazing. So ballistic blades, yes, ballistic blades for the freaking win. That's the way you want to go. Guys, blade armor. Blade armor, only spec 3 points. Blade armor is a really good thing. Um, I like it. You know, honestly, uh, on my gold solo, um, I actually spent, I maxed it out and I actually got a lot of blade armor kills. Um, you know, uh, uh, a lot of the marauders were trying to melee me. Everything, everything that was there was trying to melee me. Uh, every type of enemy, the banshees, the brutes, I mean, everything. They, they would get a lot of damage returned. But the, you want blade armor mostly for the protection. Um, so if I look at it just from rank 1, you know, you get less damage taken, more melee damage dealt. That's great. It slows power use by 50%, but it's, it's okay. Uh, if you max out onto rank 3, then your recharge speed is one second. That's fine because you don't, you're gonna just turn it on and leave it on. That's it. You're not really gonna take it off. The damage reduction bonus is 25%, guys. So you take less. You take 25% less damage. You also have a melee damage bonus of 25%. So if you do want to do me some melees, you can do it. Uh, melee damage return is 100%. So if the enemy is is just slapping you around they're they're also gonna feel the same amount of pain <laughs> that they're hurting you with so that's the great thing about blade armor it returns damage and it also gives you uh, a damage bonus uh, a damage reduction bonus so you, you want to go that way inferno grenades rank four you're gonna want to go for damage go for damage 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 these grenades will destroy everything rank five go for damage again and rank six go for radius and shrapnel all right, it's really nice to go for armor damage, guys. You know, increase damage to armor by 50%. But I know a lot of you guys are going to be playing mostly gold or silver. So these grenades already do a lot of damage to armor. So what what I recommend is you go right ahead and put um, a higher a higher increase in the impact radius and have more shrapnel so you can hit more enemies. And the damage per second, okay, 333.75. So and, and it lasts for eight seconds. So think about it. 333.75 per second damage for eight seconds. So in other words, this is why I'd say, guys, just drop two or three grenades in a spawn point, shoot your blades, get out of dodge, because pretty much it is going to destroy everything. And also the radius is 7.5 meters, so every spawn point is just going to be destroyed, annihilated. It's just done. <laughs> just trust me on that. For Batarian Enforcer, rank 4, you're going to want to go for damage and capacity so you can increase the, the power damage on your grenades and on your blades. Okay, so go for damage and capacity. Rank 5, the same thing, go for power damage. Leave rank 6 alone. And by doing this, you can max out fitness. Now, if you're playing a lot of gold, a lot of silver, a lot of bronze, then go right ahead and rank 4, rank 5, and 6 of fitness go for the melee synergy options you know go for melee damage rank four rank five martial artist rank six melee synergy but if you play a lot of gold and you're not doing a lot of melee with this guy you're not you know you're like eh, i'm not a big melee person then you just want him to be tankier uh which is the way i have him set up here go to rank four durability rank five sheer recharge and rank six fitness expert okay that's what that's what you're going to want to do with him now let me talk about his melee a little bit um, you guys uh, know that the Batarian has a really great melee. Um, it's slow as hell, but at the same time, it's really good because you get some. Um, at the moment that you're doing his heavy melee, his heavy melee, not his light melee, his heavy melee gives you uh, there is a damage reduction bonus, and I don't remember the the percentage, but I think it's over seventy percent. So in other words, so let's say you're you're, you're you're in front of a prime and for whatever reason you decide to you you know that you're about to go down you do a massive heavy melee and even though everything's shooting at you you got a damage reduction of 70 percent over 70 percent you probably won't die but the moment that your melee is over with you're totally vulnerable and you're probably get killed anyways the point is that he does have 
a huge damage reduction bonus on his melee. So if you do want to use his melee, it's really great. I don't recommend it to do it on Phantoms though, unless the Phantom that's her that's her last shot. Phan his his melee is so slow that the Phantom can reverse his melee. Just letting you guys know. You'll be surprised. You really oh you're like, oh yeah, I got your Phantom. You're like, oh yeah, look at my look at my melee. And you're just like there. And then all of a sudden the, the Phantom just reverses on you and she says, No, I don't think so, and just takes you down. I've had that happen to me before, guys, so I'm just letting you guys know about that. So you don't want that. Now, kind of weapons you want with him, I, I'm sticking to the, uh, to the N7 Piranha. I mean, I did my gold solo with him with the Piranha. Still works. Still really good gun. I mean, I, uh, I'm, and I'm, and I'm not even using the. Um, the best uh, the best stuff on it because I want to keep the recharge speed um, you know you can use the heavy the new heavy barrel I'm just using the regular damage barrel and the um, and the accuracy on it uh, for the piranha so pretty much um, the, the weapon mods I'm using the shotgun high caliber barrel 5 and the shotgun smart choke 5 that's how I'm going with this guy. I mean, you can also put instead uh, the shotgun high velocity barrel, so you can increase the damage and also get some armor piercing on it. And that that'll probably be better for you guys. I just didn't do that on this one, but uh, use the shotgun high velocity barrel and then the smart choke. That's kind of like the way you want to go. Um, and then I'm using also the acolyte because I wanted to I wanted to, to check it out. Well, I'm playing platinum here, so on platinum you get a mix of phantoms in there. So for the phantoms. Um, on gold, you're not gonna have a problem. You're probably not even gonna need the acolyte or any stagger weapon at all. Uh, you're gonna just drop grenades and blades to the phantom's face, and then just probably slap, slap them a little bit and hit them with the piranha. Because that's I killed quite a few here like that. Um, so you'll be fine doing that. Uh, but I just I just brought an acolyte just for the heck of it. I wanted to also t just feel it out again. Because they keep on changing it on me. It's just really getting frustrating. I'm getting tired of them changing the Acolyte on me. So right now, it was really weird for me. Because I had to get used to it again. Um, you know, I was used to it being charged pistol. And then going... It's just, It was a little frustrating. So I, I was here trying to charge it. And then it was just shooting immediately again. So I had to really go back and forth with it. So I just I just used the heavy pistol, uh, which was uh, the light pistol, which is the acolyte, just so that I could go right ahead and just work some phantoms. But you're not gonna need if you're playing gold, you're playing silver or bronze. Um, you're fine with just a even just a piranha, and not even using any other weapon, but the piranha. If you're in a, a a bigger map, of course, if you know what map you're going to, and you have a a, a bigger map like let's say uh, London or well, Vancouver uh, or you know uh, um let's say a Rio, uh, then you're probably going to want to use uh, something like, um, I would say something like a sniper rifle, um, but not anything heavy, I would go with something like like the Indra. The Indra would be really great with this guy, and you're going to want to use incendiary rounds always, because this guy is all about that flame, I mean, and not the flame, he's, always, he's all about burning damage, there you go. He's all about burning damage, he's got the burning grenades, he's got the blades, he's got the bleed effect, he's just... He's just, this guy is all full of, like, blades and, and blood and guts and all that stuff. So, you're definitely going to want to send the air rounds. And if you've got a bigger map, use the Indra. You know, do something like that. Uh, something that will give you, you know, some kind of uh, range. If you want to go with the Kishak Harpoon Gun, guys, I, I rarely ever recommend it because it's a very skilled weapon. The Kishak Harpoon Gun is a really good gun, guys, but it's, it's it takes... It's it's a very skilled weapon. I, I I never go right ahead. I go out of my way to really recommend it to everyone because it's you know you really have to get the skill for it. Um, on PC, it's a little easier to use because you know you get the mouse and everything. But uh, for the console, you know I know it's a little tougher. Um, and you guys will probably hate me if I recommend that gun for a lot of the builds. But it's it's it would be decent with this guy. Uh, but again, it's skill weapon. Um, and it takes a little bit to really get to know how to use it. But if you do know how to use it, guys, it's really good on this guy. Alright, so that's that. Um, the other thing is, guys, that uh, in regards to uh, the, the, the way I play with this, the, the Batarian Soldier is, um, and, you know, I do take cover here and there, and I. I, I don't get me wrong, since this is a little bit of this is platinum gameplay, I wanted to do it in this map on Glacier because this is where I did my solo. Um, the only thing is that I this is hazard, right? It's, it's a little tougher, it's a little tougher on the team. I, I used a lot of my uh, 
um, my ammo packs because I wanted more grenades. This is like the only hazard map that only gives you one grenade still per ammo box. So I was still running around trying to get a few. And then because of the hazard, I had to use a lot of my um, um, my ops packs. So that was that. But you know, still I wanted to show you guys a pretty you know pretty decent gameplay. Now I, I, with this guy, you want to be aggressive. You definitely want to be aggressive. You want to take cover here and there when you need to. But this is the kind of guy that goes into a spawn, drops some grenades, shoots some blades, and gets the hell out of dodge. And at the same time, goes to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And he's just all up in everybody's face. I mean, look at this phantom. It's just, boom. Just blades. I'm using an acolyte and some incendiary rounds, and she's just done. You know, she's just done. I mean, the great thing also about the, uh, the ballistic blades when they explode is that they stagger phantoms. So you get a stagger effect as well, which is really, really good on this battalion. And... It makes them uh, <laughs> very much worth it, guys. So I know that you guys play the Batarian quite a lot. A lot of you guys are probably playing the Batarian quite a bit. I really like the Batarian Soldier. I, I'm going to be honest. He's really good. And I, I, I'm, I am going to work a Batarian Sentinel video really, really soon. But I wanted to show this guy off, all right? All right, guys. Well, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Definitely helps me out. Also, by the way, guys. The, the, here's the build and please make sure that you are saving some credits now you're using them up yes to use them the store needs it <laughs> meaning that you need it get your weapons get your stuff upgraded and get get your credits just make sure that you have some credits saved up at least three million for this new dlc invaded one out